This video series is going to show you how to create professional quality videos using Camtasia Studio. And when you open Camtasia up the first time, you will see a screen like this asking you what you want to start doing. If you want to start recording from the screen, or by importing media files into the studio, or open an existing project. So we would start, of course, the first time in by creating recording the screen. So we'll click OK. And it comes back with the first option, whether you want a region of the screen, a specific window, or the entire screen. I tend to use region of the screen. The reason is you can pick a region of the screen to record, and no matter what you put within that region, it will record it. For instance, if you're recording your web browser, and then you open up another program over top of your web browser, it will record that. However, if you use a specific window, it would only record the screen or the uh, browser no matter what you put in front of it. Entire screen you could use that too if you wanted to put, get your whole screen in the video. So those are your options on how to use those. Alright, so we'll click Next. Now it asks you to select a region of the screen that you want to pick to record from. So you'd select a region see the little hand that appears there with the cross is put that where you want to start and hold down your left mouse button and drag it into the region you want to record like that and if you didn't get that right you can select the region again click next now it asks you if you want to record audio with your video if you want to narrate it so you would click that if you want to record audio you can also record from the camera while recording from the screen if you have a camera installed by clicking that. And click Next. Here's where we set our volume. You'll notice that it goes up and down as I talk. So you need to select your device first, so find the device that you're going to use. If there's microphone or speakers. Then you can select a level of volume that you want to record. audio format. There's really no reason to mess around with this. You have a number of different audio types, that you, formats that you can use here. You just pick the one you want to use. But you can just take the default. There's no reason to change that. Now if you click Next, it gives you a chance to have it automatically adjust your volume. All you have to do is click here and then speak into the microphone and it will adjust the volume for you. I usually set it manually, but you can do it this way as well. Click Next again. It shows you here when you want to start recording, just push the record button, and when you want to stop, you press the stop button. So that is the beginning of the setup for capturing your screen, but there's more. We have some more options that we can set up up here. Here's with our region again. Record audio. So we've already done those in the wizard at the front. This is how we want to view the program. We can view it in compact or minimal mode. For instance, there's compact mode. There's minimal mode. And toggle view to toggle it back again. Okay, so at this point we're all ready to record. All we got to do is click record. There's also hotkeys that have been set up. So we go into options. Here's some options that we need to set up here. How you want to save the project? You want to save it as a Camtasia project or as an AVI file? It's best to save it as a Camtasia project. That way you can render any kind of video from it at a later time. And then you have some options here. Make sure you minimize before starting capture. And then you can select any of these other options that suit your needs. Video. We have automatic configuration, which you might as well use. There's no reason to mess with this. However, if you're in manual, you can set the number of frames per second. And you can also select the compression. It uses TechSmith Screen Capture Codice, which is a high compression codice that makes your videos much smaller. 
you, there's no reason to play with that. However, there are you're, you probably have a bunch of other codices installed on your machine. And then you have your screen capture type. Just leave the defaults. So really, click automatic and forget all about this. Audio, we've already set this up. You can also use different formats of audio. Again, there's no reason to do that. Just leave it the way it is. But there are other audio formats in here. You shouldn't be using these unless you know what you're doing. Okay, if you're going to set up a camera, you will be able to find it in here. Now, here's your hotkeys that you can control the recording and pausing and stopping and whatnot right from your keys on your keyboard without having to hit the record key. So, the way we have it set up now is record and pause is F9, stop is F10, which will actually stop creating the video and start rendering it. And then the screen draw hotkey is not set up. Mark is something we use later. These ones you probably aren't going to need to set up, but you'll need to set these two up, F9 and F10. Then we have some, some options for the program. Always on top, you're not likely to want to do that. You're going to want this to run behind other things, otherwise all you're going to see is the Camtasia. Enable tips, so when you start it up, it will display tips for you. And after recording is stopped, if you're going to show a preview. Okay, so those are the options there. No need to mess with those. Okay, so those are all the options. In the next video, we'll go over what you do to start creating your video.